Well, hi there. I am here today with something that might be difficult for you to even see, but this is my jumping spider and her name is Lucas. She's named after Lucas the spider who uh, they've got a, a channel on YouTube called Lucas the spider and my wife discovered it and she loves Lucas. And so when I got a jumping spider, I decided that Lucas was the right name and we love little Lucas. But uh, it might seem strange that I am here with a jumping spider today because this is Clint's reptiles. You know, recently we branched out a little bit and talked about amphibians and, you know, amphibians are not reptiles, but they're at least fairly closely related. Jumping spiders, uh, they're not even vertebrates. I mean, to be perfectly scientifically accurate, uh, even sea urchins are more closely related to reptiles than spiders are. So, uh, from a phylogenetic standpoint, this animal does not belong on our channel. But much like amphibians, spiders seem to appeal to a lot of the same people that like reptiles. And some of my favorite spiders, perhaps my very favorite spiders of all, are the jumping spiders. For starters, they are adorable. Uh, they're little and cute and they explore and they're inquisitive and they've got these big forward-facing eyes that just make them adorable. There's a reason that Lucas the spider is a jumping spider and not any other kind of spider because no other kind of spider is going to make you fall in love with it in quite the same way that you can fall in love with a jumping spider and they have definitely won me over. I adore jumping spiders. Uh, much like a tarantula, they're very handleable, yet they're not nearly as intimidating as a tarantula. They're very interactive and you can actually spend a lot of time handling them and watching them explore you as an amazing giant, well, just jungle gym for a jumping spider. When you get past all that cuteness and funness, they're actually super duper hardcore. One of the things that I think is the most hardcore about them is their prey choice. Um, most, most spiders will hunt things that are much smaller than they are. Jumping spiders will hunt things that are even larger than they are, and they just like tackle them and uh, they'll jump from across their enclosure and just nail that thing and it is amazing. They are hardcore, cute little guys. They can also jump like many, many, many times their own body length to tackle those giant prey items that they're willing to attack. They're just amazing. But are they the right pet invertebrate for you? To help you figure that out, we've broken down the jumping spider into our five categories, which are, we'll just do it over here. Handle ability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. When it comes to handle ability, we give the jumping spider a score of four out of five. The main reason that they lose that point for handle ability is just because they are tiny. Because they're small, they could easily get squished or lost while handling and, uh, that's, that's definitely not ideal. Uh, honestly, though, for their size, I mean, they're a lot better to handle than tarantulas. They're much better at holding on to you, and they can take a fall better than a tarantula. It's just, uh, you could easily crush one, and you could easily lose track of it. Of course, even if you do lose it, it'll turn up on your wall in an hour or so. So, you'll probably find it again. Like I said, they could easily get lost. Nice thing that they do is they provide a tether for themselves. Uh, so they will kind of cover you in web a little bit while they walk around on you, but they're constantly giving themselves a lifeline. So dropping them isn't even a major concern. Other than that, they're absolutely awesome. They're bold and they explore. Uh, they're great jumpers, which should come as no surprise, given that they're jumping spiders. They may even eat while you're holding them, if that's something you would like to see. They're also not nearly as intimidating as a tarantula. We said they're easier to hold than a tarantula. You know, they're also just not as scary as a tarantula because a tarantula, even though they're, most of them are not very venomous, uh, they got big fangs. These guys have tiny little fangs and also mild venom. All spiders have some venom, 
but this venom is not gonna do any more than basically like a mosquito bite. Even people that are afraid of spiders are usually only afraid of them until they see those adorable little eyes and then they usually get over it. Like I, I have seen a lot of people that hate spiders and still like jumping spiders because they're great. So one thing that I should mention is they've also got a lot of personality and individual personality. I have two of these and uh, one of them I've had a bit longer than the other. They both appear to be females. They're both the same species, which is a bold jumping spider. And yet their personalities are completely different. One of them likes to jump all the time. And, and then the other one, the one that I've had longer, uh, which is Lucas here, she hardly ever jumps and just explores patiently and calmly. Honestly, I, I find her to be a bit more fun to interact with, but they're both pretty fun. When it comes to care, as should come as no surprise, we give the jumping spider a score of five out of five. You can just build them, uh, I mean, it could be a very simple enclosure, but you can actually build them a really pretty little enclosure. And the main thing is just to make sure that it seals up well, because if you've got a hole big enough for your spider to fit through, you don't know, your spider will be on your wall in an hour. You could even use something like a, a jar or a plastic container, as long as it's got a good fitting lid. And, and just provide them with a lot of places to explore, which will make it you know, potentially more fun for the spider, definitely more fun for you when you're observing them. You'll know that it's time to feed them when their abdomen starts to shrink. And uh, I gave her a pretty big meal last time, so you can tell her abdomen is enormous right now. It'll be a while before she needs to eat again. And the abdomen is actually the back body segment, the one that no legs come out of. In the front, they've got what's called the cephalothorax, which is the head and the thorax fused. And that's where all the legs come from. That's where the eyeballs are. Uh, most people, when they draw a spider, though, they think all the legs come out of the abdomen, and they don't. They're going to eat small insects like uh, mealworms. And as they get bigger, they can eat uh, up to full-size mealworms. Uh, fruit flies are also a great option. Small crickets, small dubia roaches. Just about anything that's around their size or smaller because they seriously can take down things their own size. Now, I would be careful about things like beetles or, or other insects that might be able to fight back because if you start giving them things their own size, I mean, you're, you're getting sort of an even fight and an even fight isn't usually what you want whenever you're feeding your pet. If you choose to feed them wild caught insects, just be careful about pesticides. If those insects came from a place where pesticides might have been used, don't use them. A drop of water might also be appreciated by your little jumping spider from time to time, but be careful not to overdo it because you don't want to drown them on accident. Look at this little web. They're just such majestic little creatures. Quite frankly, pets just don't get any easier than this. If you can't handle the difficulty of keeping a jumping spider, pets aren't for you. When it comes to hardiness, we give the jumping spider a score of five out of five. That is assuming you don't squish it. If you don't squish them, they should thrive for you for months, up to about a year, which is a long time for a little spider. They honestly would make a really excellent first pet for a child. I mean, you know, there is the risk that with handling, horrible things could happen to your spider, but the good news is it is a spider and uh, some people squish them just for being spiders. And you wouldn't do that because they're way too cute. You've seen them too close, you can never go back. When it comes to availability, we give the jumping spider a score of five out of five. I caught mine in my reptile room. She already lived in there. Now I just know where she is in the reptile room and I make sure she's fed. Uh, she's got her own little enclosure and I feed her quite well. She was a lot smaller when I, when I caught her and uh, she's molted a number of times for me, and she's just a beautiful little adult now. I love her. Some people are even captive breeding jumping spiders for pets, which I love that. And uh, that is a really fun way to get your feet wet with breeding stuff. And uh, you know, if it's a wild caught spider, you can release most of them outside, so you're not stuck with hundreds of spiderlings to try to rehome. But what amazing little creatures. When it comes to upfront costs, we give the jumping spider a score of five out of five. I mean, honestly, the spider is probably free. You probably already own a big jar. Sticks from your yard should be fine, assuming there's no pesticides on them, and you're done. Enclosure complete. That's pretty much free. And that is why we give the jumping spider the highest score we've ever given anything, a 4.8 out of five. They totally deserve it. Really, I mean, they only lost a point for being tiny. You can't help being tiny. It's one of your best features. 
If you've been keeping track, that ties the jumping spider with the corn snake for the highest score we have ever given any animal ever. And they deserve it. They're awesome. In conclusion, jumping spiders are amazing. They are fun, easy, and basically free. If you can't handle a jumping spider as a pet, then you are either crazy afraid of spiders or pets aren't for you. At least not right now, because it doesn't get any easier than this. Hopefully you've been okay with our little expedition into pet spiders, pet jumping spiders. Uh, let us know what you think about this. If you want us to cover more pet invertebrates, let us know. If you want us to stick to, you know, at least vertebrates and maybe just stick with the reptiles and uh, you'll tolerate the occasional amphibian, let us know that too. You know, all this feedback is really useful, but uh, I just thought this is a really cool pet that almost nobody talks about as being a pet. And I, I mean, I've always loved them and I'm actually a, a member of a few Facebook groups that are about people who keep jumping spiders and I just love seeing the pictures these people take of their pet spiders. That's part of what inspired me to go ahead and, and keep Lucas when I found her during the winter in my reptile room. I love her. She's been just great. I mean, they're, they're more fun than I imagined. This is just such a fun pet and uh, when you see them scurrying around you don't even think about it. As always, like and subscribe. Uh, click that little bell so you get notifications in case we come out with any other spider videos or invertebrate videos or if we never come out with a spider video again because you asked us not to. Also, thank you to those of you on Patreon. We actually didn't need any Patreon support uh, to buy the spider or the enclosure for it, but we needed a lot of Patreon support to have the equipment necessary to film a jumping spider well enough that you could see how adorable they are. So we really appreciate you guys. This video wouldn't be possible without you. And we hope to see you real soon. Will's gonna be scrolling? Yeah. William! William! Yes! Oh, and Jason's back to being the director, so I'll have some direction. <laughs> Oh, this is a grand day. I know, look at this, look! Boom mic! Holy cow. I know! We got these lights, we got sound deadening blankets, we've got an amazing boom mic. This is amazing. All this big equipment for this tiny little spider. <laughs> and we got Will! Yes! This is the best day ever. It's one of your best features. It's one of your best features. They let move. Uh oh. She has a tether on me that I didn't know about. Do you see her? Mm -hmm. She's on my leg. If you can't handle a jumping spider, you are either crazy afraid of jumping... Oh, sorry. If you can't handle a jumping spider, you are easy... Trots! <laughs> <laughs> didn't say you were easy. And please, I'm so scared of dropping the camera on him. I'm not even joking. Yeah, that would be devastating for him. I'm terrified of dropping this camera on this yes. little thing. I'm really terrified of dropping this on him. Uh, I'd have <laughs> to go to California. <laughs> Her little butt things are like moving. Spinnerets? <laughs> yes, thank you. I like uh, little butt things better as a term. <laughs> little butt things. <laughs> <laughs> little butt things.